Welcome to the introduction video of the 1993 Miata that I recently acquired. The codename for this project is the Wrong Roadster. So where I'm planning to take this is actually building what I believe to be is the ultimate roadster, which is kind of what the Miata already is. It's got 50-50 weight distribution, it's a fun little car, it doesn't have a ton of power, but it's a fun car to drive and just fun to take on trips, so I plan to make this car a little more reliable. I plan to just give it a little bit of a modern sprucing up to this first generation Miata. I'm not going to do anything really with like stancing it out or making me an autocross monster or anything like that. Just a nice little fun car that I can drive around on the streets, maybe take it on a couple of road trips. Just a fun car that is not my daily, a fun little roadster I can drive around. So enough about that, here's the car. So the exterior, the whole car is stock. Um, the video is giving the paint a lot better than it actually is in person. There's a ton of swirl marks. It's definitely going to need some compounding and polishing. That includes the rear bumper, which has oxidized paint. So that's definitely going to have to be addressed. Now the wheels on the car are addressed the stock 14 inch daisies. If you actually look behind the daisies, that's the only modification on the car, which is the slightly newer NA brakes, the bigger ones that came on the 1.8 have been added. You know, it has that RC antenna. The car is in really good shape. It's really clean. It has about 120K miles on it. It's awesome and I love it. It's recently had a timing belt change, but overall a completely stock car. Hasn't really been messed with, you know, good old pop-up lights work 100%. They're a little dim though, so those are definitely gonna have to be replaced. But overall, the car is in great condition. I love it. Like, it's still pretty reliable right now. It does overheat a little bit driving around the canyons when you push it. It's a fun car. So moving on to the interior, once again completely stock, that steering wheel is definitely going to have to go. I hate the stock NA Miata airbag wheel and I frankly don't trust 25 year old airbag technology. So that's probably going to be changed, you know, it's a black and tan interior, everything is in good condition. It does have the top boot, the car does have a hard top too. So this car really came fully loaded with the package, it has AC, power steering, it was a Miata that came with everything. So moving on to the motor, it does have the 1.6 instead of the 1.8, which I don't mind. I mean, it's a Miata, I'm not really looking to pull a ton of power on it. I may do something simple like intake headers, exhaust, you know, just some cooling stuff. Basically just trying to make it a little more reliable. But overall, you know, I love this car. I've been driving it for about a month or two now, just completely stock and I love it. There are just a couple problems that need to be addressed. The AC doesn't work. I mean, that's all Miatas though. So we're gonna get that fixed and you know, just slowly do little projects on the car. Hopefully it's awesome. At the moment, the current things that have to be addressed immediately are the radiator, the AC, and just sprucing up the interior a little bit. For example, the shift boot is a little bit ripped, so I'm gonna change that. I'm probably gonna get a new shift knob and steering wheel. But there are a couple, I guess, cool little ideas that I had that I'm gonna be throwing around. You know, and you'll see those videos pop up and everything like that. So thanks for stopping by, and hopefully you come along for the ride with this Miata.